Today we're looking at how fishing lure color changes with depth. First, we're heading to an extremely clear deep lake, a second lake that's clear but green with a huge plankton bloom going on in the deeper water, and a brown stained bog lake to see what happens as we lower this set of lures through the water column. Colors fade very slowly in this lake where the visibility or water clarity is about 25 feet. Red wavelengths are absorbed the most by water, so this is the first color to change or disappear with depth. Notice the pink nose on the flicker minnow changing color and the red nose on the reaper fading to brown. The other colors are pretty similar at 55 feet of depth in this super clear water. This next lake has about 15 feet of visibility in the upper layer of the lake, but a dense zooplankton bloom near the bottom that almost entirely blocks out light. Notice how the colors change similarly to the last lake, but as we get into the zooplankton bloom, there are so many suspended things in the water that the lures almost disappear. The most visible lures are those with the highest contrast, like the blue and white with dark spots, the yellow with dark spots, and the fire tiger pattern. Eventually, all the colors have disappeared until the only thing you can see is a tiny reflection of the light from the camera's front screen coming from the chrome bait on the right. In a highly stained bog lake, the color loss effect happens much more quickly. Light is absorbed quickly because of all the dissolved tannins and suspended particles. Once the lures get down to about 15 feet deep, it becomes difficult to see any of the lures except the ones with contrasting bright and dark colors, similar to what we saw near the bottom of the second lake. And once again, the lures eventually disappeared, so we would be relying more and more on lure action and vibration to help a fish find it at these depths. Now these conclusions are based on what we and the camera can see. Studies have shown that the spectrum of light that fish can see is similar to ours, but they can also see into the ultraviolet wavelength, which we can't. Some fish like walleyes have special light gathering layers in their eyes that allow them to see better with extremely low light levels. These tests demonstrated that pink and red are the colors that are first to disappear in deep water. High contrast patterns will be the most visible, and rattles, vibration, or flash will be most helpful to bring the fish to the lure, especially in stained, turbid, or deep water where light disappears quickly. What do you think of these results? Thanks for watching, we'll catch you next time.